There are fantastic games coming for the PlayStation 4 from all over the world, but they may not be available in your part of the world, at least by default. Fortunately, there's a way to buy PS4 games from regions other than your own, and it's even relatively easy. What this process entails is creating a new Sony account within the region that you're looking to buy from. Then to actually buy games, you're going to need a gift card with the currency of the region you're looking to buy from. You can get those from sites like PlayAsia. For now, let's talk about what you don't need. And mainly that's a VPN. You don't have to do anything fooling Sony into thinking that your system is in a different country other than your own. To get started, head to the PlayStation account creation page. Now, if you're already logged in, you'll need to log out first, then go back to the page, then click create. On the next page, enter your date of birth or put a fake one, it doesn't really matter. This next part is where things can get a little tricky. You're asked to set your region and that's what you're looking to do. The problem is as soon as you select that region, the language changes to whatever the default for that region is. So for example, if you're looking to create a Japanese account, as soon as you select that for your region, you'll have to go through the rest of the process in Japanese. If you're following along with us, that's pretty easy. But to make it simple, we're going to create an account from the US for Singapore because everything from there on is in English, which makes it easy to follow through. Then enter an email address and password you want to use with the new account. The next step of the process has you enter a residential address, but it only needs a city and postal code, so you can use Google Maps to pick a fake address, or really, you can put in whatever you want because Sony doesn't seem to have any sanity checking on this page, so even random nonsense will work just fine. Next up, you'll need to add a username as well as a first name and last name. As with everything else so far, you can make this whatever you want, but do try to make it memorable as it'll help you remember which region you set this account up for. Now you'll get an email sent to the address you entered earlier to verify your account. Click the link in the email, then go back to the setup process and click the already verified option. Now the next time you log into the PlayStation Store with your newly created account, you should see games from the region that you picked during setup. Now let's set up your PS4. Before you do anything, boot up your PS4 and go to settings. In here, select account management and go to your primary account. Not the one you just set up, we're talking about your real account here. Go to activate as your primary PS4 and make sure that this is active, again, on your real account. This way, games that you buy on your newly created account from a different region will still show up in the games list on your real account and you can get trophies and chat with friends and things like that. Now back out to the settings menu, go to login settings, user management, and create new account. After you click through a few menus, the PS4 will ask you for your login details, enter the details for the account you just created. Now click through the menus to finish the setup and you'll be back at the main screen. Now when you want to switch accounts, say to buy a game, hold down the PlayStation button to pull up the menu, then go to power, then switch user. Now you're ready to buy games, but first, as we mentioned earlier, you're going to need a gift card with the proper currency for the region that you just set up. To redeem that gift card, open the PlayStation Store app and go down to redeem codes, then enter the code. If instead you're on the web, click the square smiley face at the top right, then click redeem codes. Once you've added the gift card code, you can use those funds to buy anything you want. And that's it. For more super useful information, go to maketecheasier.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.